Hi, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Sonal Sharma and I'm working as functional consultant with BISP Solutions. In the series of Arx applications videos, today we are going to cover that uh, overview of reconciliation compliance configuration. As you understand, configuration is important uh, related to any applications. Today we are understanding the configuration part of this application. This is uh, the home page of the application, as you can see. In the home page, we need to go to application and then configuration. This is uh, basically something where you are providing the uh, different settings available for that particular, uh, that particular reconciliation you want to create. Okay, so in the configuration part, there are multiple uh, multiple features provided, which are some of them are util useful for administrator, some are for power user, or some are for both, as you can see on the screen. There are uh, multiple features, as voice, uh, I was telling you, that uh, these are the features we need to understand one by one through the application. So I am taking you to the application. Here, this is the home page. Through application, we can go to configuration part. Okay. So this is, uh, we will go into a particular series. So the first feature provided by this application for configuration is alert type. Okay, alert type, as you can understand, uh, at the home page, we have seen the fourth uh, icon or fourth card was alerts. Okay, so that alert is only uh, can be created. I will uh, show you once again that uh, for what I am talking about. This is the alert. For this alert uh, creation, we need to provide the settings or attribute at the configuration part, the first alert type position. Here we can provide, uh, these, uh, these are the list of, these are the uh, alert type already created, the list you can see here. You can search or filter uh, these uh, already created alert types. Uh, from uh, this particular option and you can also create the new alert type. This is basically the categorization of creating alerts on which type of alert you want to create. As you can see that uh, there is a suppose we will take any already created uh, you know alert type like team alert. This is basically an alert type which provides that it is a type for a team and it is for basically providing the complete uh, you know description uh, related to any alert you can also create any alert from here as well you can provide that which type of alert you want to uh, you know mention suppose i want to create uh, any alert related to uh, like risk rating uh, you know risk rating related alert i want to give okay so risk rating uh, changes alert okay uh, which is already created, but I am showing you just an example. Okay, so here you need to provide the ID description and detailing related to it. You can also provide any instruction workflow or questions here. You can define the attributes as well. So this is what alert type is all about. The second one you can see is attributes. In the system, all the you know attributes you are providing uh, while creating the formats, while creating the profiles, what attributes you are utilizing are created from here. You can see the already created this um, you know application was already provided by default. These are the logged uh, attributes you can see, or you can create any new attribute from here as well. So you need to provide the name or in which form that particular attribute is, whether the calculation is needed or not, it can be provided here. So this is attribute. In the same way, there are uh, option to provide the system attribute as well from this uh, particular icon. You can also provide any type of, uh, you know, uh, system attribute through this. You can provide any target dimension or related to these things here. You need to provide the type as well. Through this currency uh, tab, you can provide uh, the currencies you are going to utilize in the reconciliation or transaction matching. Only those uh, already created uh, currencies which you are providing here 
are only allowed to get attached with that reconciliation. That means you can only create those reconciliation in particular uh, uh, currencies which are already defined at this place. I'll show you some of the things here which are really important. Like the first one is currency bucket. You can provide uh, these uh, type of, uh, you know, there are three levels like entered, functional or reporting currencies are there and default currency, you can choose any of the currency here. These currency are only showing those currency which you are already creating here in the currency tab. Okay, so the next one is currency. Currency, you are here in this list. You can provide or add any of the currency, any new currency, which is not already given here. You can create that currency from here. You can also provide the rate type. Okay. So here you can go with, uh, wait a minute. Yes. You can uh, go to rate types here and you can provide the rate for any any uh, of the, you know, currencies you want, like you want opening rate, you want closing rate, you want average rate that can be added from here. I need to save it. So these are the things in the currency rate, you can provide the conversion rate, like in from which currency to which currency you want to give and what is the rate of conversion here. So that can be provided through this currency. The enterprise general mapping is basically utilized at the time of uh, working globally when you are uh, you want to you know map the different enterprises generals over here. The next one is uh, the data loads. Uh, from which resources you want to take data, you need to define those sources or those those applications, those sources you need to define here. Only then you can import the data through data management from uh, for any particular reconciliation or transaction matching if it is defined here only so you can provide any new uh, you know data load data load option there as well the next one is uh, filter filter is basically helping you to identify or uh, arranging the data in particularly your requirement form in which form you want or you want to select any of particular like you want to uh, see only the data of june period so you need to go to the through the filter you know need to go to period and select the june period and automatically it will come so these are the filters basically do so here in the while uh, searching the formats while uh, searching the profiles or at the time of reconciliation or transaction matching you are going to see you can filter uh, any type of uh, uh, you know filter you can select these filters uh, only if you define it here at the configuration part okay as you can see this is the list here the name description and which type of filter it is how it is working and whether it is public that means it is for only for the administrator purpose or you want to um, uh, you know allowing it to view to the users as well you can make it as public so this is what filter is all about. The next one is format. While creating any reconciliation or uh, creating any transaction matching application, you need to first of all create the format from here. This is really important from the point of creating reconciliation or transaction type. So here you can see the already created formats, which uh, you know sample application already provided you on the default way, or you can create according to your need through there okay as you can see you can uh, create uh, you can provide the name description and which method you want to see uh, these formats are utilized or can be utilized for multiple profiles so you can whatever the process you are selecting here it will automatically getting attached while attaching the format to that particular profile so here you can select any of the methods as you understand there are three methods of reconciliation uh, here you can see uh, these two methods which are in combination of transaction matching so these are the methods you can provide here with the uh, why, uh, when creating the formats you can provide instruction attributes or question or rules here or, as well so this is how you can create the format the next thing is list 
this is uh, list is basically uh, it is uh, where you can see these are the already created list as you can see there is no space for creating list like no addition button the plus icon is not there so here you can only change the already created you can uh, you know add it or delete or uh, publish it or copy these uh, you know set as default these list or you can view it in a uh, different forms like in what columns you want you can uh, show it in this in that way these list can be created through the profile id as you can see uh, here you can see that if you want to create any of the list you can create the list from here okay so this is the place uh, sorry this is uh, the place you can create any list like see you are uh, uh, I can create any list here. Suppose I am creating uh, the general, sorry, the general one. Okay, general one is the listing uh, list I am creating uh, for the particular uh, you know columns I am selecting. So this is I am saving this general one. Now we can go to configuration part and we'll have a look to it. Okay, now I am searching the general one. This is the report. See, this is the report which which is created by the profile. So you can see it here. This is a uh, list. The next one is organization. This is basically providing some of the important things like uh, related to organization. So here you can provide the organizational unit that how many units are there, which units work for which place. So you can add any of the you know places or the units or the branches here. You can also provide the working days or the holiday rules here as well. Like suppose any of the uh, country in which uh, or any of the unit uh, is uh, having five days working and two days so any of the two days which it is not working so if you define it here su suppose saturday sunday is not working in that case uh, while creating any of the reconciliation which is due for the upcoming days it will automatically suppose any of the reconciliation is uh, you know pending for saturday so it will automatically shifted it to monday so this is the uh, benefit of this particular tool uh, you can also provide the holiday rules here. Here you can, uh, you know, add any holiday there that uh, what is the ID and what is the name of that holiday in which year it is belonging. You can also import the list of the holiday from the, uh, you know, your system as well. You can also provide the calendars here. Okay. Through calendars, like any of the uh, organization in which country it is performing, uh, what uh, accounting or what financial period or what uh, what financial calendar they are using, like January to December or or April to March, which calendar they are using, uh, it can be uh, defined here. So this is organizational. The next one is period. This already we had discussed in the uh, changing period and status uh, video, but I'll give you a very brief idea that any of the period, if you want to create any period, so you can create it from here through this. You can add any period, you can provide the prior period and as well as uh, you can uh, provide the end date, start date, the prior period and what would be the close date. You can also provide the frequency here. So this is what uh, related to period can be given here. Okay, so this is uh, about period. And the last one is uh, the settings. If you want to provide any another settings related to system settings, you can provide it here. Uh, these are the settings related to all these configuration uh, plus the other features provided by the application. These are the settings can be made here. So this is all about the configuration part. We understand how uh, to, uh, for the reconciliation, what is the configuration provided by the ARCS application. So this is it for today's video. Thank you.